So, Hot to uh, not Hot Toys, Mayfex announced something yesterday that I am very, 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 very excited about. Specifically because I missed out on it the first time around. Mayfex is re-releasing the comic version of the classic costume, they're calling it, of the Mayfex comic Spidey. So I am very, very excited for this. Excuse me. I missed out on the first edition, which is was going for like two, three hundred dollars on eBay. And I'm not going to buy a bootleg of it. And then you got the classic one. By the time I decided to get the classic one, it was it started selling out and then the price went up like thirty dollars, so now it's I haven't seen it on there at all. Um so finally they re-released this figure with the classic colors. It's kinda got like a Ramita Senior slash Ditko look in terms of the colors, which technically with the suit itself, it doesn't really match any particular comic run because the suit is sculpted to look like the 90s Spider-Man, your Mark Bagley, your Todd McFarlane, your uh, Eric Lyncher, or uh, Eric something, I forget what his name is off the top of my head, but that this very much is supposed to represent like your Maximum Carnage era type Spider-Man. So I really like it, and seeing it with the brighter colors looks really, really, really cool. So let's get into this. I'm going to move this down just a little bit. You guys can see that a little bit better. <clears throat> so first up, we got the Spider-Man. Very, very excited about this. I hope it still comes with the uh, Peter Parker head, so we'll see about that. Here he is right off the bat with those bright colors. I am a big, big fan of this. I do like this. There he is, standing straight up and down. I've been wanting this figure for a very, very very long time i love the broad shoulders the articulation just looks really good every pose that i see it in the figure always looks fantastic so i'm very very excited to see this and i'd be interested to see if they do a wash with the webbing or if they kind of hand paint it that's one of the things that i like about sh figure arts is because they hand paint the webbing and mafex usually goes for a wash which is a little bit hit or miss for some sometimes but other times it works well it gives some nice depth to the figure so we'll see how they do this because it doesn't really look like there's muscle shading this time around like there is with the original version. So that leads me to believe that they might paint the webbing uh, by hand, or not by hand, but paint the webbing, just do it line by line instead of doing it with a wash. So we'll see how they go about doing that. But I really do like this bright blue. I love bright blue on Superman. I love bright blue on Captain America. And I love bright blue on Spider-Man. So I'm very excited to see this and I've already got my pre-order in which is supposed to come out around October I would assume it's probably going to come out around December January if we're lucky but we'll see how it works since this is a figure that's already been released I doubt it's going to get delayed as much as like the uh end game Captain America I mean I put my pre-order in for that like July August of 2020 and they didn't come out. I ended up canceling my pre-order, but it, it didn't end up coming out until like the last th uh, two or three months or so. So that is insane. But this guy, I mean, for sure he looks really good. So let's just run through the photos here. Very excited about this. I know a lot of people have already seen this figure for a long time, but for myself, I'm really excited about it because I have another chance to grab it. So that's awesome. Again, he comes with both, uh, both mast heads so that's pretty cool and that's just run through that so like i said i hope he comes with actually i should be able to see what he comes with over here if they've listed it two head sculpts interchangeable hands web effects and stand so according to this it doesn't look like he comes with the peter parker head it does say fabric hoodie though So, I mean, that sounds like the Scarlet Spider, even though this is clearly regular Peter Parker. So, I don't know what that's about. Anyway, let's move out of here and let's take a look at the Scarlet Spider. I'm sure the everything that comes with it will be more clarified later down the road. But here's Scarlet Spider. Scarlet Spider looks really, really good. And I'm sure that a lot of customizers, including myself, are excited about this because it's a, it's a base. It's a it's a it's a bare bones figure in terms of spider-man 
So you can do really whatever you want with it. You can, well, I mean, I would say you could turn it into a black suit Spider-Man, but we're already getting one of those. So there's other options to do with it. You could make a cane Scarlet Spider if you wanted to using this buck. So that's pretty cool. But you can see we get this nice uh, white webbings, which I didn't mention before. Like when you get the movie figures, they're always like that clear webbing. So it's nice to have some white stuff some white webbing for a change but the hoodie looks really good i'm excited about the hoodie it definitely fits him well we'll see how that translates to when it gets released this guy is not supposed to come out until the second quarter of next year so around this time next year uh but his his web shooters looks good his belt looks really good his his uh buckles and straps are his pouches and straps on his uh ankles look really good very excited about this scarlet spider is definitely one of my favorites and i'm very upset that i missed out on the uh ben riley spider-man because i love that suit um and i just really like ben riley in general so all this looks really good all this looks really good i'm excited about this i really like this head sculpt it's a little bit more angry looking it looks like they might have just used one of the black suit spider-man heads and repainted it this one's definitely your classic Ben Riley, but it's still nice to see the the uh, interchangeable heads. But that's definitely a black suit look, and it looks like we get a third head here, so that's nice as well. I don't know if this is one that comes with the black suit as well, but I know that that previous one definitely does. Yeah, the, those those are definitely some nice heads, but this first one here is through and through Ben Riley Scarlet Spider. These other ones are just a bonus. So that's pretty good nice. And I think we went back through the beginning here, I believe. But yeah, so that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at what it, what the box, what it's supposed to come with. Yeah, so this one says three heads and it says the fabric hoodie. So I think with just the regular version, it was just a, a mistake or whatever. I don't know, it's gonna get clarified in the future what it comes with, obviously. But I think both of these figures both of these figures look really good and I'm really excited to get my hands on the comic style Spidey because that's been my favorite version of the comic Spidey that I've seen in a long time. I'm not a huge fan of the retro Spider-Man. I'm not a big fan of the one that Hasbro's announced with the Mary Jane, simply because it's not I'm not a huge fan of the chunky like it's the classic spider, but it's really chunky and I don't really like that. I like the first appearance spider-man that they announced but i think the belt is way too thick so besides this comic spidey right here the only other comic spidey that i'm really looking forward to is the mezco steve ditko spider-man which i might do a video on to let my thought uh, my thoughts be known on that i'm really excited about that so we'll see how it turns out but that being said if you guys enjoyed the video hit the like button subscribe and of course hit the notification bell and uh until next time true believers